Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a network radio, the Enrico T529A. Let's start by unboxing and assembling at the Enrico T529. But while we are doing that, for those who don't know what a network radio is, a network radio is like a 2 way radio or walkie-talkie that works on the cellular networks. This means they need a SIM card with data onto function. The big benefit of these types of radios is that they can work national to international, anywhere where there is cell phone coverage. But more info on these types of systems and how they work, we will cover in an up and coming video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and select the notification bell not to miss this video. But let's get back to the Enrico T529 radio. This specific one is an Android 7.1 radio that works with our platform, but there is also a Linux version available. This radio can operate on the 2G, the 3G and the 4G band and it's got a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It also has features in like GPS tracking and an NFC reader built-in that comes in handy for systems like guard patrolling. And like with all good radios, this one also comes with a belt hook that we're going to quickly put on now. The T529A is IP54 rated. This means that the radio can resist dust and is splash proof. The antenna that came with the radio shows that it uh, does do 2G, 3G and 4G. So if you ever need to replace the antenna on this radio, just make sure that it does do all of these bands. The SIM card holder sits right at the back of the radio underneath this rubber cover. This radio works with a micro SIM card. After installing your SIM card, always make sure that you press this rubber thoroughly in. Now let's fit the battery. The battery is a 3.7 volt and its capacity is a 4000 milliampere hour. It gives 12.5 hours talk time and 22 hours of standby time. The radio has 16 channels that you can program onto it and the volume knob is also the on off switch. And now for the charging. The radio comes supplied with a desktop charger. This desktop charger helps for a proper charge to ensure that you get the full lifespan out of your battery. But when you need to charge your radio and you don't have your desktop charger handy, the battery does have a micro USB port at the bottom with a light indicator, red indicating that it's charging and green that it is full. There are different types of headsets available for this radio that plug in on the side at the accessory port. So before we do the live test, let's answer one big question. How much data does this radio use? So we tested this with high volume of voice traffic and then as well at 45 seconds GPS tracking polling. And we found that it is roughly around about 500 megabytes a month. So let's hear how these radios sound. Radio taste one day. 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 Rad